morning guys welcome to tornado thursday we're supposed to have a tornado today and it is looking glorious outside right now oh that's right sam locked the, the barn down i can tell that it rained in the night because everything's wet but it's supposed to be raining all all day today and now i checked the forecast and there's only two hours of rain so between 12 no, between two and four today, we're having a tornado. Maybe today I should make this little area. See this little area? I should make this our little area to come into the barn since we're making changes to the other side of the barn. Like this was here when we moved here. And I could, I could rip this up. It's all rotted. I could just take it out and then we could make this into this cute little area. I could put flowers. I could put, I could even put our trailer over there. And, and just make it so cute. And then our fire pit's just over here. So imagine how cute this would be. The only thing that we wouldn't have is a bathroom close by, but that's okay. Who needs a bathroom? <laughs> Grandkids will be here soon, not today, but they're coming again. I like to get them as often as I can so that I can spend time with them and sleep in the trailer with them. All right, so welcome to today. I'm gonna show you guys my new trick. This is my plan. The girl they're still sleeping summer vacation so I'm gonna feed the ponies in their stalls that's my goal all right don't make me regret this because sometimes when I try and do stuff that Sam does by myself they take advantage of me all right go to your stall be nice oh no I have my flag in here again Ugh. Crappy. Uh oh. Oh, this is not even going well already. Ugh. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girls. Wow. Got it going on. One of my goals this summer is to take all the the mats out of their stalls, lift them up, and clean the stalls. Our barn is not super stinky. It's still really new for a barn. It's not like horses have been in here for years and years, but the best way to prevent it from getting stinky is to clean it all out. So that is one of my plans for this summer because the horses sleep outside at night in the summer. You guys are wondering like, what's your ultimate plan here, Laura? Well, I'm gonna tell you. I love this little cart. Sam closed that door last night and left this door open, but he closed this door because of the storm that's coming. I might, oh look, even tied the door down. It, it locks down here on both sides, but he like tied it. Which is gonna be annoying because Sophie and I have like such a good idea for a video today that we're gonna do. And then my friend gave me an idea of another good video to do. But my ultimate plan for now is to take these horses out one at a time, like Sophie was gonna do yesterday, and like Sam does. So I'm gonna put you guys up. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, where's my tripod? All right, let's get started. I'm gonna do it the best way that I know how with the worst pony to the best pony and Figure it all out. So let's see how well I can do this on my own. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just gotta not some vibe. Striking the wind of boats now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off with left the ground. You, you gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. I saw that or not but Penny coughed a couple of times this morning she started coughing after I gave her a grain this morning oh I got a plug in the fence what the heck Laura so I'm a little worried about her I'm gonna watch her I haven't noticed any coughing all the way until after she ate her grain so I'm hoping I am hoping that the grain just went down the wrong way and she's gonna have a drink and then be better 
but I know there is a virus going around and that is scary. That scares me. So I'm gonna keep an eye on her and make sure she's okay. from the barn it was a pouring rain we're supposed to be having a tornado it was like a 24-hour tornado watch so Sam fed the horses inside the arena and whenever he does that I always have to clean it after which is not a big deal but still takes time but anyways this morning I was talking to my friend and she suggested something for me to do with the ponies today with Penny in particular and I'm gonna do it like I am going to set up a track for her to push the ball on and I'm going to do it now before Sophia comes down so that she can be surprised and excited. So I'm going to do that right now and then I'm going to go up and have breakfast. Okay, what do you guys think? But this is gonna be it. So she's gonna have to push the ball through this, go all the way down. Let's do it, quick. So she's gonna have to push the ball and hopefully she can run it. And then she's gonna go around this corner and then around this corner and then around this corner. And then she's gonna push it all the way to the end. Uh oh, I can see a problem. And then through the red for the win. Come on, tell me that's not cool. That's so cool, I'm so excited. I can't wait to show Sophie, it'll be a surprise for both of them. But I know Penny will love it. If you guys have been following Penny and her ball, Sega, then you will know that not only does she like the treats that she gets, but she loves playing with the ball. And I always say, like, the most incredible experience you'll ever have your horse is when you're doing something that they enjoy and watching Penny with her ball is so rewarding for me because I can see she enjoys it. But anyway, get ready for the obstacle course or whatever you want to call this with Penny. All right, it is now after lunch and we have a tornado watch coming. It's starting to get like a little bit darker and hazy out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Turn the fence. <laughs> yeah, go. Go, do it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. You guys see it? That is scary as heck. Oh, it's a snake? Mm-hmm. I hate snakes. Ah. Where is it? Over here. I dare you to pick it up, Gabby. I can't even see it. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, hmm? Molly's like, I'll get it. Hey, I wanted to update you guys before the tornado hits. Before I forget, really. <laughs> but basically, I've been drinking this stuff called mud water for like a week now, maybe. And it's an alternative to coffee. And it's nice, but it makes me feel kind of sick to my stomach. Makes me feel sick to my stomach, gives me a ton of energy, way better than coffee. Makes me stay focused, kinda. Hi, honey. Gabby's trying to get her dog to get it. <laughs> her dog's like, I'll just have a drink. Come on, Pam, come on. So, anyways, I like the mud water, but, and it works as good as coffee, and you don't get the jitters like you do with coffee. But it makes me feel sick to my stomach. I don't know, for some reason, I just feel like it doesn't agree with me as well. Sophie, I want you to close your eyes. Come on, Penn. Hey, Papa. 
We're gonna teach Penny to do something really fun. <laughs> keep going forward, forward. Just don't look no, at the. You just gotta close your eyes and keep walking. Sophia's here. There we go. Yay! <laughs> okay. All right. Where's the door? Okay. Grab it. That okay. Was... Okay. 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 <laughs> stop. No. Gabby, stop. No Can kicking. Yeah, you can look. Oh, what is that? It's our course. Look how nice it is. So this is watch. Uh -huh. So this is where it's. Look, it's gorgeous. Here, I'll do you part. start down here. Come on, Pat. No, 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 no. Yeah, we're doing it. Oh, yeah, we start at the at the blue. She's looking, and we turn. She knows. We're turning. <laughs> She's like, I know what we're doing. Where's my treat? And we keep going, and then we run home, Penny. Run, <laughs> run home. And then we go through the red to finish. Okay. You guys. Starting this way because we always go this way. All right. You can swap the blocks. I don't care. I'm going to get treats. Okay, go get treats. Your Molly's going to do it. She's going to show us how it's done. She's going to show you how it's done, Penny Pickle. And Penny's like, I know. That would be fun to do like an obstacle course for the. And we run home. We have to close this and tie it down before. Can you pull it? Can you? We have to close it and tie it down before we leave. We just want to open for the light. Because. I know, it's hard. We're actually supposed to get a tornado. There we go. This is it. This is our course. I love it. I think it's going to be amazing. All right, so first we're going to try. First we're going <laughs> to. She's like, where are my ponies? <laughs> this is so confusing. Oh, she sees the ball. She says, I just had lunch. I'm tired. Oh, All right, so this is our trial. And make her do like a few pushes before you give her a treat. And when we actually do it, like do the actual thing, like get her to do it. I'll go in the middle there and video her. And maybe Gabby will time her. Look at, look at that, you guys. You're cutting it. Make her give it a big kick. It's too hard for her to go in through these things. Come on. Come on. She pushes down. Watch. How long till she pushes it over? doing it. That's okay. Get underneath the thing. All right, sadly, I don't know if my course is, is working perfectly for her, so we're going to try something different. I'm going to try it. Making it, like if we make it really close and she can only go down this path and the ball can only go straight, it might work. What do you guys think? All right, so we're gonna just try this and see if this works. See how it's really close to the wall and only the ball can fit in there? So if she has to run down and she can't like, and the ball stays on the track, it might be easier for her. You should walk on the outside and she walks on the inside. You should walk on the inside, on the outside and she walks on the inside. Yeah, let's try it. 
Bring her back down and let's try it. <laughs> there. That kind of works. <laughs> she doesn't like it like that. off grass so my guess is she's not ready for a really playing comment below what you guys think worked better do you think it's better to have the poles close to the ground and just have like a small area where she can push it or do you think that it's better when she had like an open track that she could push it what one did you like better not the open track not the open track look at her, Watch her. oh she's like hmm you're, you're bored now you're done with me <laughs> <laughs> no, I think my dog would do better. All right. No, she's going to pop it. it. Yeah, we don't want your dog to pop it. But let's see your dog run it. She's like, I go with you. She's like, where's the ball? Yeah, she's ready push to do it again. Block. Like, push that block. Push it, push it, push it. We were going to wait till her activity time, which is like after they have an afternoon nap. Every day when we bring the horses in off the field, they always have to have like this long afternoon nap and then we usually come down and spend time with them because then they're like excited and want to do stuff. We're going to continue to work on this and we will show you like the finished product probably after a tornado. We have to do it early today because th there's a tornado. So Gabby's going to show you what happens when Molly does it. You're such a good girl, Penny Pickle. Yes, you are. All right, go. Yeah, that's the thing about dogs that run in front of you. <laughs> Woo! We need to get it. We need to get a few balls, like balls that the dogs can play with, because pe uh, Molly will pop Penny's ball, and we've already popped one big, huge ball, so we don't want to do that again. Take a look at what the arena looks like now, and then when we come back, we'll see what it looks like. Because I guarantee you, nothing will be the same. All right, lock it down. We put this extra little thing in here <gasps> when it's windy. Sorry, I just sneezed. We gotta go out the other door. It's so hot out, you guys. This, this is, I guess, what tornado weather is like. It's so hot, it feels like I'm in the shower. That's how humid it is. Oh, I've been getting tornado warnings all morning. So the weird thing is, is that this place where we, li where we live isn't like a place that has tornadoes. We have one tornado and now we get tornado warnings. <laughs> It is still hot outside you guys, scorching hot with the wind chill, it feels like 100 degrees outside. It is starting to get dark and dreary. The heat is still really bad, I guess that's probably part of why it makes it a tornado warning. Uh, the rain is going to start any minute. Speak of the devil, the rain just started. Pray for us you guys, like is this another tornado or is it not? And it's supposed to hit this exact area. Pray for us, I hope you guys see tomorrow's vlog if you do then you know everything is okay but pray this is the first time we've ever like prepared for a tornado before ever scary stuff don't you know that you're beautiful